Hey guys, before we start the video, I just want to make a little disclaimer. I look sick in this video. Like, I literally look sick. Like, I'm talking about pale, losing color. Um, but yeah, I, I just been really stressed. And that's all that is. I just wanted to, like, come on here and say that before y'all be like, girl, like, you look like you're like a vessel of yourself. One, two, one. guys it's your guys beauty and today is a special day so today it's actually like a really special day like seriously y'all so we made a big business purchase i wouldn't even say big but we've been making a couple like new business purchases and they're like super super cool so the first one was clay sculpting i want to get into clay sculptures with crystals on them because it just calms me down and gives me more things to do with my time once i pack you guys' orders off i'm free to go i can relax or i can either you know pack the next batch of orders or go live or just make tiktoks and do things like that to communicate with y'all over there but i was like you know what i should make sculptures on live but there's two right here that video should be dropping first but it's like a little candle and a marshmallow like this is my third ever sculpture and i'm just in love with it like i feel like it came out so freaking cute and it's a jewelry holder but yeah that was the first big purchase right the second purchase was a business vending machine. When it got here, it was red. And I was like, mm, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. All right, y'all. So I just got the vending machine. It just came in the mail. It came in a big box. And then I thought, at first I thought it wasn't see-through. But you have to take like a layer of the plastic off. So now we're going to leave those on. And we're going to slide these layers of plastic out. Because I'm going to go spray paint it. I don't want mine's red. I want mine's black. Then I also have some little balls to go inside. I have to lay these all flat and just mist them so that they look like floating bubbles. I don't want to completely spray them green because that's tacky. So let's go do that process and then y'all will see us. All right, y'all. So I just finished spray painting it and it looks amazing. I did miss a couple spots, but I still feel like it looks really good. I hope that I didn't okay yeah there's none on the tape then there should be no... oh, that looks cool. now I might have to get in there with a paintbrush and get that but still that's so cool that's so cool yeah y'all there's no way I could have gotten that but I'll get in there with a paintbrush no worries Take some of this off and see what we got. Please do not be messed up. Oh, look at that. Looking good. Looking good, my brother. Now I'm kind of scared for this part. I really just wanted to focus on. Oh, and these are how the balls came out. I was just trying to see like the vision or whatever. But yeah, so it looks pretty cool um but yeah it looks so vintage how cute all right guys i'll see you when we are putting on the final touches i have a shelf like a cabinet that's supposed to hold this just a little table to help me pack orders and stuff and then i'm gonna have my dad screw it to the wall because this is that this is still like i don't know a hazard because it can tip over even though it's not glass they gave me some type of like um clear metal stop fighting they gave me some type of like a uh, clear plastic so i have to wait till my desk gets here and i'm gonna clean out my room and i also got some led lights so actually i can show you guys how that works now let's show you guys hold on Bop, bop, bop. 
down. Oh, no. What? All right, y'all. So now we're taking the duct tape off of the jewelry vending machine. I decided to go with the colors of black and silver because I feel like it just looks the coolest. And we have, whoa. We have all the keys up here and I try my best not to get it on certain parts of the vending machine. But you see how it has like a little bit of hidden red because this came to me red originally. We're gonna have to change that up. I just messed with the focus. I didn't even mean to do that. Ciao, ciao, ciao. I also have a Wednesday hand to put on top as a prop. We're going to be painting its nails. So period. I cannot wait to show TikTok. Actually, let me get a couple of TikTok snippets. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So while I work, I have to pre-watch a video really quickly for my YouTube before I upload it. It's not long. I just need to make sure I can watch it before I call my friends back just to make sure. Did I ever put it on YouTube? All right. what? Upload. Publish. All right, so my alarm just went off to upload on TikTok. I already did that. I'm a couple of minutes early. I kind of remembered from like muscle memory. I was like, oh crap. So now we're gonna go ahead and comment something under our own video when it to comes push to us in the algorithm. When it comes to handcraft, and we got the video up, y'all. Now, that video will be going up around 7 on YouTube and Instagram. We're running a giveaway. The giveaway winner is going to be announced on the 22nd. So, let's set another timer for 6.30 because I have to allow myself time to get the post together as well. Y'all, the rest of my stuff arrives today. It is officially like a couple days later and my light and the rest of my vending machine balls arrive. And I thought that we were only gonna need 50, but we used well over 50, about 200 realistically. But yeah, so if you ever get a vending machine, do not just buy the 50 pack, buy a 200 pack, okay? It's gonna run you about like what? 60 or 80 dollars go ahead and buy that one and save yourself the time because i just kept buying random packs now here's a video of me showing you guys the jewelry that would be inside it was so blurry and my camera would not focus y'all bear with me in my camera like i'm gonna fix it soon It's actually like a pretty good size for my vending machine. It fits my vending machine and like will have a little room around it, which is so cool. And then it matches my table exactly. So like once I clean my room up and y'all see, y'all they stay together like two peas in a pod. Like real bad, they love each other. So yeah, 
once I get all of this stuff moved and like put that in a certain place I want it to go and it's just like clear in the back and it's just a regular little table it's definitely gonna open up my room because oh sorry y'all my camera's breaking y'all it's just a lot of stuff going on but when I scoot back my chair not the lens being shut too when I scoot back my chair it literally like hits the table so bad to where stuff starts falling on the table because I have no room to scoot out right here. So now that I'm about to pull this out and put in a smaller table like just in the corner with the vending machine, like with the vending machine, that's going to be really, really nice. Like this will literally fall sometimes and it will get on my nerves. But yeah, y'all, I just finished packing my orders. They just shipped off. I'm going to go put the crate back over there and I'm trying to get rid of a lot of clutter. I don't want my room to be so like clutter i want to be able to work out of my room more like y'all i threw away three bags of clothes well not threw away gave away i gave away three bags of clothes right and i did laundry at 6 25 this morning and i finished at like seven literally like laundry was so fast because i don't have as many clothes as i used to it was a lot of extra like clothing pieces that i didn't even really even need <laughs> my allergies <sighs> Like, it was a lot of laundry pieces that I really weren't wearing. And then, like, I would have a certain top or certain jeans that I would tell myself, like, just wear these. Like, because you need to wear these because they're so cute. But when I got rid of them, I honestly feel, like, so much freer. Like, once I finish my laundry... Hey, stop fighting! When I finished my laundry, I literally felt so much freer. I was like, wow, like, this was, this was amazing. But, y'all, let me go eat because I'm ready to get into the video and put on these LED lights. Like it's gonna look super, super cool. It's kinda like a room transformation. And then we're gonna be putting my Xbox Five up. So we're gonna knock those two out. Y'all see my table is a hot mess right now. Like it's looking crazy in here. So we're gonna clean up, do the vending machine, put my X Xbox Five up, hook that up and everything. And then we could do like a little room tour or something. <laughs> 